गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ऑल द लाइक्स एंड कमेंट्स ऑन माई वीडियोज दिस वीक एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट टूडेज वीडियो बिकॉज आई एम गोन बी मीटिंग अ सब्सक्राइबर इट्स सो ब्राइट लेट मी क्लोज अ विंडो लिटो ओके सो टूडे इज माई ऑफिशियल फर्स्ट सब्सक्राइबर मीटअप इट इज अ जेंटलमैन हु रीच आउट टू मी बिकॉज ही लिवस इन फोर्टली वेर आई लिव so i didn't think i have subscribers in fortly but actually i met two people in my building also who watch my channel and i don't know them i understand neighbors who know me or relatives or friends who know me they watch and many of them are in new jersey but to meet strangers who called out to me and said you know we watch your videos because of the bike or the tesla that is just amazing so i also wanted to announce my first channel q and a today so If you guys have any questions don't ask me personal questions I'll try and answer the best of my ability We are permanent residents in the US so don't ask about visa we are not uh, here on any visa we are permanent residents and we are still Indian citizens my wife and me and my daughter is American so those questions are out of the purview because I'm answering it right now so I don't have a visa I am not affected by H one B or anything, and I am an Indian citizen. And we are not married to any country. We are global. We can go to any country we want, depending on work or requirements of work. So tomorrow, if my wife gets a transfer or I want to move to another country, I can move to India. I can move to any country in the world. Okay. So if you have a question, and uh, want to mention it in this video please pen, uh, mention in the comments below and also let's go meet my subscriber right now and yes please also you can follow me on instagram ryan woodman 75 you can ask me your questions there too in the inbox or on one of my photographs you can comment so yeah you can reach out with your question on instagram and also this video here so please pen down your questions and i will surely make a video within the next few days to answer the the most popular questions and which i feel will be uh, important for my subscribers to know thanks guys see you at the subscriber meet So that's Dawal. He's just parked his car. So both Mercedes fanboys meet. Hey Dawal, how are you? I'm good. Ryan, how are you? Good, good. Finally, I get to meet a subscriber. A subscriber right? So guys, I think I'm I'm more excited than Dawal is. <laughs> But uh, nice to meet you, man. Yep, likewise, Ryan. So you stay somewhere nearby? I stay on the Center Avenue. Center Avenue. So Fortly. So this is Dawal's uh, car. He's he's a Mercedes fanboy as well. So we managed to get a parking for both the cars. So this is 2018, you said. Yep, this is 2018. This was a loaner car. Okay. And uh, it was driven like seven, six thousand miles. All right. When I All got right. it. So you watch my channel for the cars and bike, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and and with the fact that we both stayed in the stay, same stay, area, stay, right? Stay. Yeah, yeah. That's Actually, I have some subscribers in my building also. Oh really? I didn't expect to to have subscribers in New Jersey, but there are. Yeah. So good. Nice to meet you, man. Yep, likewise. So man. let's look at the car. Can I? Sure. Because most of my channel is car and bike fans. Absolutely. So this is the C three hundred. It's C three hundred. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Sit, sit, sit. No, that's fine. Nothing okay. fancy that I've done to the car. The okay. only thing is I've added a puddle light. Okay. I got this for twenty three bucks from eBay. Uh huh. That's nice. I like the wood uh, finish the wood and everything. And for a two-year-old car, it looks quite new, man. Because I drive it. Ah, uh, sorry. Because I clean it every weekend. Wow. Every weekend. 
You clean it yourself? Yep, I clean yeah. myself. So I had a C class in Louisville, Kentucky, 2009. But it was one of the best cars I drove. It, the peppiness and the speed and everything. So you said you had, had an Audi before this? I did have an Audi before, yes. Okay. But that left a bad taste in my mouth, so then I thought of switching it to Benz. All right. Okay, we are sitting in Dawal's car and uh, what is so strange and what a coincidence, he lived in just next to my house, Takshila in Mumbai. So you said you were in rooftop? I was in rooftop, yes. So I that's Andheri's boys. Andheri's so where boys. Where did you school then? Holy family. Oh, I was there too. Oh, you're there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I you were a Dominic boy. In, no, no, Dominic was one year. Then I moved to Holy, Holy family. family. My brother too was Holy Family. But yeah. I passed out 92. You would be much later. I was in 2005, I believe. Okay, sir. so seven. 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 You, you're not that much younger. I'm 31. 31, okay. <laughs> so yeah, Dawal is, uh, you know, technically my neighbor and also subscriber but we are, we are planning to meet up more often because he you do some shooting ranges and all right i saw on your yeah Instagram. i i did that that three years ago okay uh i think that was in poconos okay okay so maybe we can try that out sometime so tell us more about your car the so this is a 2018 uh benz i as ryan said i first had an audi but that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth so i thought of switching it to benz like benz to yeah. see how this brand is right, right. And uh, I was hunting around, so the dealership that I got Audi from had the same uh, Benz dealership as well, okay. Benzel Bush. So then I went that's there. That's where I bought mine. Uh, then I was like, okay, uh, I found this car and I was planning to lease it, mm -hmm. not buy it back mm -hmm. then. And I was looking for a 400 range. So this guy showed me this car and apparently they had this car for like more than two years sitting in their garage, okay. uh, in their the garage oh, or okay. uh, warehouse. Uh, but he said, it's a brawn color car. And it's been 6,000 6, miles to us. So I'm like, that's fine. Brown yeah, color. Yeah. It's a nice fancy color. Yeah, that was my question actually. When I was coming here, you told me you had a brown car. So what made you pick brown? Or you like... So I had I had no reservations for color at all. Okay. But the only thing that I didn't want it was a black car. Right. right. Because, you the know, dust, typical Indian, dust, right? Yeah. It's difficult to maintain. Yeah. You plus see those uh, scratch marks yeah. on the car. Actually, a lot of people in the US to have white or black. Black. Which which I can never understand. I mean, even I've gone for a different uh, color, you know, color gray kind of blue, and I was happy. I met someone who has a brown <laughs> and not some you know boring white or so. It's so common, you know, white, yeah. white cars. And then uh, the second the second Audi, right? Yeah. The, the after I won the lemon case right. with Audi guys, the second one I thought of picking up a silver. Okay. But in my experience of these three cars, silver was the best to maintain. Right. Like just one uh, one spray of polish and stuff yeah. like that, the, it sh really shines a lot. So this is C300. C300. Okay. Uh, okay. Super basic. I had a couple of criteria that I wanted a Burmista audio yeah. because I'm kind of an audio uh, spe fan. Speakers are great. Sp yeah, speakers are absolutely stunning. Right, right. And I wanted maps and I wanted a bigger screen. Right. So those those were my only criteria yeah, yeah. for the car. And space wise, I mean, uh, are, you, are you married? And no, kids I'm not. Okay, nope, so nothing. then this is perfect. So it was a perfect, perfect deal for, for me. You. And uh, the A3 that I uh, that I got, right, it was kind of cramped from inside right. too. Right. So when my parents visited me or when my family visited me, they couldn't sit comfortably Correct. in a long. And Indian visitors always come with a lot of uh, bags and suitcases. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. When w that's why we bought a SUV because the Tesla is similar. Correct. You know, I think the Tesla is bigger. Correct. But uh, maybe next time I'll show you the Tesla. So my lease is getting over next year. Okay. And I'm again still like uh, in this dilemma that which, which one should I go right, for? Right. Like I also started looking at Teslas, yeah. but the Teslas are like if like my family they all stay in the south. Okay. So if I have to take a big south drive, then it's going to be like charging, you know, charging, yeah. and then twelve or fifteen hours of drive yeah. instead of eight hours the, the of drive. Tesla, the charging while a road trip. I mean, a lot of people club it with the uh, dinner and lunch and all that, but but it still you have to invest more time in a Tesla Correct. road trip. Correct. So uh, coming from cars now to bikes. So right. so Dawal wants to pick up a motorcycle, and uh, he that's why he reached out to me about you know various questions. So what 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 is in your mind now? So as Ryan as as we grew up in a country where riding is primarily right. and then we start learning cars yeah. speaking of which i still have that urge of you know riding driving uh, or ride riding two wheels in this country it's very different here yeah, exactly to ride here uh, it's very different i've also heard uh, things like it's very risky yeah. Yeah. Uh, speed speed yeah. and stuff like that but again if you have that boost and confidence in you right 
So you know, I got my license from the Harley Davidson uh, school two Academy. day two day course. You yes. know, they do a two or th- because going to the DMV that test they give you, you will always fail that yes. test. Correct. You know, the riding test is very right. difficult. They make you do figure eight on a big bike. It's impossible. Correct. So, and uh, that's the same approach that I have taken. I had contacted Harley Davidson, but those guys were uh, more like, oh, we are all done for the season yes, yes. and things like that. Then I finally found. Uh, uh, motor vehicle training school. Okay, that's in Riverdale. Oh, nice. So I opted into into those two days training because yeah. as you did, yeah. of course. Uh, so hopefully September sixth. Okay. If things go well, September sixth I'll pass those course, and then maybe in following week I'll get the yeah. license, and then in the next following week yeah. I might eventually pick up something. Okay, so you got to pick it up before November, otherwise the weather will uh, ruin your riding. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And as you said, right? I'm not like I'm a five. Four. Yeah. So I don't even think of uh, buying an adventure bike. Right, right. So I'm looking for a more tourer bike, yeah. something like. You'll get a lot of options. Like I had a, a, a Yamaha Vista Eliminator in Louisville. That was a lower lower bike. Lower bike. Right. You get a lot of bikes. I saw. Uh, I I've been to a dealership this uh, last Friday, so I saw uh, Yamaha Bolt something. Okay, Bolt. But it was more like a long bike. But it was of course a short shorter yeah. bike. But more than that, I loved uh, Royal Enfield. Right. Interceptor. Yes, 650. 650. Yeah. Uh, I saw 2018 Himalayan. How much was that? Yeah. Uh, that was uh, that was 3999. Oh, not 14, bad. So, my, my advice to Dawal too is to start small. Correct. Though in a year or two, if you get something bigger, then you're at least confident of the roads, the way the, the bikes go here. You know, people are nice to you on the bike. They are far, but you know, so many people on their phone. And, exactly. Uh, you know, texting and driving. You got to be careful. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, the third one that I saw was Triumph Street Twin. Oh yes, nice. So out of those three, yeah. honestly, I love I love Himalayan. Right. And I loved uh, Street Twin. Okay. Those are really comfortable bike. Uh, I was surprised that Himal like Street Twin was nine hundred cc. It's very more expensive. Like two three thousand dollars expensive. Right. right. Uh, it was 900 cc, but honestly, it was super lightweight. Right. Then the Interceptor and the Himalayan. So you know, Royal Enfield has a competitive pricing here. Mm-hmm. So you know, three four thousand dollars for a bike here is still cheap. Still Though you cheap. you can get Harley Davidson pre-owned. Correct. For four five thousand also, but then you're not sure of what you're getting. Correct. And then, uh, as you said, my first thing was I have to be sure right. on uh, the money. Yeah. Right. I don't want to spend tons and tons of yes. money and then uh, burn everything out. Right. 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 Uh, I don't have a garage like you. Yes. I have an open ap- exactly open. garage like this. Yes. So I was thinking if I could push my car all the way to the back. Yeah. I could park the car in front of my car. Right. So yeah, in the US, you know, everyone worries about winter storage. Correct. You know, so I store my bike in mm-hmm. the Harley storage, and now this year, BMW. BMW storage. It's about five hundred dollars for the whole winter. So it's not okay. that it's bad. Not bad. But they maintain it. You feel confident the bike will be in good shape. You know. So you you need a garage for winter. Sure. sure. So you have to keep that budget in mind also. Correct. And then uh, speaking of winters, I was I was actually talking to the dealership guy, and those guys were like, "Remove the battery, right. take it uh, take it home, and once the weather is like 50 or 40 things like yeah. thing in in that range, get the battery down, put it in again, yeah. and just take one quick circle of your uh, of your apartment complex or okay. things like that." Okay. No, for bigger bikes, you have to ride at least 15 Correct. miles. So I used to ride in zero degrees. Right. Right up till December 15th, I ride. Then December, Jan, Feb, I give it for storage. For storage. Yeah. So this is the C class. Uh, the space is quite decent. It's quite decent. I think two suitcases can fit in easily. Um, and more than that. More than that? Yep. Oh. My parents' suitcase, like uh-huh. two suitcase uh, and two small bags. I okay. Think. 
It's very popular in India too, this car. Yeah, this car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I don't have a spare wheel. Not yeah. sure if you have it or not. I think I have down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the only biggest problem because yeah. uh, that wheel I punctured it three weeks ago. Oh, okay. And then I literally had to uh, call those Mercedes guys and then you had to pay a lot more. Exactly. I'll just see the rear seat. The rear seats are the where the space is little less, right? Yes. Compared to. So this is your sitting position and see my sitting position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in India, right? Nobody... Correct. In my family, at least nobody is like six yeah, foot or something. Yeah. Oh, it's a good starter car, yeah. Why does it feel the same? It's like nothing's changed. I used to keep my cool, but when it comes to you, I do it. Nice. So... Every two or three months in the summer, I polish it. Oh wow! So keeping it very well. Yep, absolutely. So it doesn't look like a two-year-old car for sure. Really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good that you're keeping it well. All right, guys. Uh, we had a long chat uh, offline also, so we're going to meet up some more. Absolutely, we'll meet up, Brian. Nice to meet you, and nice 100%. to meet a fanboy, Mercedes fanboy. Right, same family. And good luck with the motorcycle plans. Thank you so much, Keep Brian. me posted. Yep, I'll keep you posted, and uh, we'll go on a short drive yeah. after the bike is there. All right, take care, All man. Right. Take care. Nice you to Ryan. meet you. Likewise. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. So guys, that was Dawal, my subscriber, and it was so nice to meet someone like-minded, someone who has the same passion for cars and bikes, and more than that, someone who's from my neighboring uh, society. I lived in Takshila in Mumbai, and he was in Rooftop, so we are both Andheri East uh, boys. So that was good. So Dawal, if you're watching this, it was great meeting up. Hope to be in touch. And thanks, guys, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please put your questions on the comments for this video remember i'm doing the q a don't forget that please put your questions down on the comments please like this video and now that's it for today take care see you on the next one bye